Hello, my brother, my sister. How on a day? I hope say all man day fine. When I take chair, she done. More nag this story. Yeah, something very important I want to talk with you guys. First, let me ask you this question. When you hear Nigeria, what comes first in mind? Let us know in the comment section. For someone like me, Nigeria is a very massive nation and uh, it's our next door neighbor. So I have always heard news about Nigeria since I was a child. And uh, there's one thing Nigeria has always struggled with, insecurity. You know, I think it's one of the most insecure countries in Africa. Nigeria has always had problems with security. And if you thought that this level of insecurity was too high, then the video you're about to watch will make you rethink all over again. So, watch. Tuesday's night attack on Kuje Correctional Center remains shocking to many Abuja residents. It comes hours after the killing of a senior police officer and the brazen attack on the advance convoy of Mr. President in Katsina State. Some residents say times are changing. Kuje Prison, you have very high-profile prisoners. You don't need anybody to tell you that these terrorists will one day want to invade that prison and free up their colleagues. And they just did this and practically without any resistance from a security network. This is a shame. The government needs to visit, go back to the joint table. They should look at what they've been doing, why it's not working, what they could do better to secure Nigerians. Security officials daily pay the supreme price in the discharge of their mandate. My brother, my sister, when I don't see the video now, now so we take CM to, so all, now so all of us take CM. So, I have question now, and uh, this is a very honest question. My brother and sisters in Nigeria, please help me answer this. How can the insecurity of Nigeria reach this level? How can? And who, in your opinion, should be blamed for this level of insecurity in Nigeria? Nigeria is a country I have always loved. Nigeria has plenty of good things to offer the world. I personally, I have been to Nigeria a couple of times. But to see this level of insecurity makes me wonder what is really going on. How can a prison, a maximum security prison in Abuja, be broken into by people of the underworld? You know, when you, when you think about this thing, then you, when, when, you, when you really try to give it some thought, right, you get more confused. Like, it's like there are more questions than answers. How can a country like Nigeria unable to secure a prison? <laughs> Let me see. So these are kind of the questions people have been asking. So, but I don't want to jump to any conclusion because I am not a security expert. So I cannot claim to know more about this subject. But I am just asking, I am just posting this question like any concerned Pan-Africanist. So I believe that people who know better than I do will share their ideas with me so that I can be educated on this issue. But it is a big shame. I will say it honestly. It's a big shame that a whole country like Nigeria cannot protect a prison, a maximum security prison. And the prison was broken into like that 
and most of the inmates ran away. My brother, my sister, this is serious. So, my brothers and sisters in Nigeria, please, uh, if you were also as confused as I am right now, let us know in the comment section. Let us know what you think about this story. And let us know if the Buhari government is doing enough to protect the people of Nigeria. Let us know in the comment section, okay? And uh, please, um, do us a favor. <laughs> like always, nah, huh? like always, okay? Like the video, um, share the video, follow our Facebook page, and or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, by so doing, you are helping us a lot to build this platform, and uh, we are forever indebted to you. So, thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.